Think about it, dude. Anything we want. Cash, cars, candy. So you only use magic spells for stuff that starts with C? <sighs> Once we were lowly high school noobs. Now we're vampire killing, spell casting rock stars. The world is our oyster. Have you ever actually had oysters? Not something you want to swallow. More like something you cough up. Yeah, nice. Nice image to start the day, but there's the image I need. I know you're the seer and all, but I can see her with me. Keep the magic on the down low, remember? Life just got back to normal. You relax. I got this. Can I talk to you? Hey, how goes it? What's new? Can I borrow $20, friend? It's for a good cause. $20? Like, now? Um... <laughs> Awesome news. Della's dog died. And that's good news? <laughs> yeah. I gotta go. Later. She said she loved my flowers. And then she said she'd do anything to bring her dog back. Anything. Yeah. What if somebody magically brought her dog back? Can you imagine how grateful she'd be? No. No, Benny, you cannot bring her dead dog back to life. Or no until we try, right? Benny, stop! If Harry Potter were here, he'd smack you around. She's the girl. Crazy wrinkles are hiding something. I know it. Uh, Benny, maybe you should just conjure up a bracelet for this girl. I mean, reanimating a dead dog is overkill. No, it's underkill. Because the dog would be unkilled. Duh. You don't even know how to do it. No, but I do know where to find the answers. Grandma's secret shelf. Secret shelf? My bad feeling just got 10% more bad. Hey, guys. Ethan, dinner's almost ready. What's that... The aroma? <laughs> Did Jane melt one of her dolls again? <laughs> Actually, Ethan's dad is having a very, very important client over for dinner this Friday. So, I'm testing some recipes from TV's Greatest Chefs, and this is kelp and kimchi ratatouille. Do you want to try a sample? Mmm, yum. Uh... I have to go. Honey, come on. Mm. Okay. Can you do me a favor and tell Sarah I'm not going to be needing her Friday night because we're going to be having our gourmet dinner? Okay, cool. I'm sure she'll be thrilled to have a Friday night off. What? So now I can't even get babysitting money? Great. Perfect. Why do you need money all of a sudden? Forget it. I still have some other options. See ya. So, how is your little pet nerd? Oh, you know, nerdy. Look, the reason I wanted to talk to you is that... <gasps> you changed your mind about flying down to the city this weekend? I knew it. We are gonna tear it up. Erica, you know fledglings can't fly. Not for free, which 
is why I need to ask you. Can I borrow some money? I'll pay you back. Money? If you would just wake up and smell the platelets, then you can take whatever you want and whoever you want. I understand, but I just Buff thought... Buff. In fangs, we trust. All others pay cash. Ah, my food's here. Call me when you're ready. Hey, I got your text. What's up? Took these from Grandma's secret shelf. How do you know which vial has the potion to bring a dog back? I thought you might use a vision to see which one is the bring back to life juice? Come on, E. Help reunite a fair maiden with her beloved pet. One touch? Okay. Yes. Okay, now. Focus. This? Angry birds. Right on. This one... grows hair on your fingernails. Cool. This... This one's it. But... Sweet! Della's dead dog thanks you. Wish me luck. I have a long road ahead. And a pooch to summon from the dead. Engage! Benny! Benny! Wait! Benny! Oh. Boo! Ah! Don't do that! I was working on my ninja skills. Check out my new car. What's that mean? <laughs> Rory. Vampire? Ninja. Uh, look, Benny's gone to Dallas and I don't know where she lives. Do you? No. But I know a sure way to find out. Air Rory. Ah! Here, dead dog. Here, boy. Beloved Puffles, in loving memory, bingo. I have an afterlife wake-up call for one Puffles, the dead dog. Wait. Oh. Ethan, do not sneak up on a dude. Who's awakening the dead? Keep it down. Come on, let's go before you do something stupid. I mean, more stupid. Too late. Already did. Nothing happened. I... Ah! Ah! Booyah! <sighs> Rory, I don't care how undead you are. If you do that again, I kill you. To kill Vampire Ninja, you must first find Vampire Ninja. Vampire Ninja? You... All right. That was kind of cool. Anyway, potion had no effect at all. Maybe your vision was wrong. My visions are never wrong. But I think your grandma was right. We shouldn't mess with the forces of life and death. Do you hear that? No way. It's alive! Shh, Whoa. Whoa. That is the sweet sound of Benny scoring a date with Della. Okay, you did it. He's alive. Let's go before someone sees us. What? No, she has to know I saved him. I want to surprise her at school tomorrow. We have to go. Yeah. Now. Ready. Ready. Come on. Puffles? Can we put Puffles in your garage just until morning? Grandma cannot find out. What will I tell my parents if they find Dog of the Undead? You'll think of something. <sighs> you might want to leave out the part about it being dead earlier. Yeah. Thanks. Just. Promise me this is the last time you raise anything from the grave. Look, it's taken. I swear on my Jedi honor. Puffles. 
is the only animal I will ever bring back from the dead. Better be. Morning, Papa Pooch. Feeling less dead? Go! Man, I'm telling you, this feels wrong. That dog isn't just undead. He's evil. He tried to eat my hand this morning. Why? Didn't you feed him? No. Sorry I didn't have any dead dog chow lying around. Oh, there's Della. When she sees Puffles, she will be all over me. <laughs> Wish me luck. Just tell me, what are you and dumb are you up to this time? What? Uh, nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. I know your work when I see it. I was trying out for a new sales job. <laughs> Look, all I did was help Benny, um, rescue an innocent girl's dog. Uh, Say thank you. Oh. Coincidence? Uh, look, I can explain. Hey, what is up? What happened to you? Weirdest thing. Last night I went out for a crunchy critter snack, but this time the snack fought back. I think it was possessed. <laughs> you don't need bandages, remember? Vampires can heal themselves. Yo! <laughs> Fingers grow back fast! Sweet! High five. You guys do what I think you guys did? Raise dead animals from the grave to get a girl's attention? Unbelievable. Honey! <laughs> Is it me, or did that chipmunk look about ready to eat our eyeballs? I think it's time we call in a little magical backup. What? No, no. If Grandma finds out, who knows what she'll do to me. Listen, if the potion did cause this, then it'll probably just run out of gas. Right? Uh, I'm sure the worst is over. This is a special <sighs> news bulletin. Oliver Whitechapel reports are coming in of bizarre small animal attacks. That's Tiberius. No. Yeah. But that's crazy. He ran away when you were like eight. You and I have to talk with your grandma now. G couldn't we just email her? <laughs> I mean, ah, hi, grandma. Something you twits want to tell me? First, we brew enough anti-potion to douse all those demon critters you created. All I did was spill a few drops where the dog was buried. A few drops is far too much. But why are they so evil? You reanimated the bodies, but the souls had moved on. And a body with no soul is a demon's playground. Even if this brew works, how are we going to track down all the undead critters? Right. Here. Once the demons hear this enchanted flute, they'll come running. But you'd better be ready. Don't worry, Grandma. I will not fail you. Not you, Einstein. I need you here to help me with this brew. Ethan can do it. Start at the site of the spill and then work your way back here. Wait. Tonight's my dad's dinner with his new client. Mom will kill me if I miss it. Well, if he can't do it, and I can't do it, then who's gonna play the stupid magic flute? What's your little blonde friend up to? He's right. This sounds like a job for Vampire Ninja. Sarah, what are you doing here? Oh, great, they're here. What's with the winter outfit? Your mom called me in a panic, and she offered double my babysitting rate. Totally rocking the sweater best, mister. Stylish, yet stupid. Fine, but there goes your tip. All right, 
We are locked and loaded with anti-potion. And Rory's on his way. Good. Oh, when he leads the critters back, I'll take position in your backyard and let him have it. All right. And, uh, sweater vest, can you tell the waitress I'll have a decaf triple mocha latte? No foam. Yeah. Ethan, I need you to come and meet our guests. Sarah, could you bring out the orders now, please? Yes, ma'am. Everybody, this is our son, Ethan. Hi. Della and I have met. Kinda. Hey, Della. Did the dog come back? <laughs> She's been worked up all week. Every dog she sees is Puffles. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. It's so sad. What, uh, what is that? Oh, just a little dinner music. Rory's here and he looks happy about something. That's never good. Rory, what'd you do? How come I can still hear the music? I had an inspiration. Why shred my prima lips when I could just record the tune and play it back on a loop? No flute required. So where's the player? I landed on the roof to look for you guys, and then there was a psycho squirrel, and I kind of dropped it down the chimney. The what? chimney? Hey, relax. I know a way to get it back. When Santa comes... Rory, shut up! You know the rules about planes involving Santa. So now that music's in the house, which means... I felt something on my leg. Guess this settled in. Time to wow him with your new sales pitch. A new pitch? Top ten fun facts about insurance, you think? Yeah, that's it. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> what was that for? Just some hair on your back. Now, I told my mom I'd get the parmesan. Buckles! <laughs> Puffles? Goodbye, Puffles. Ew, his collar. Sarah, uh, I'm gonna need this sauce right now, okay? Uh, Mom, Mom, wait. I'll get it. It's fine. Oh, okay, let it go. I've got no, it, all right? Let go. Puffles? What is that? You? Oh. Puffles? <gasps> yeah, that's him. Kinda. <gasps> oh, Della, wait. I can explain. <laughs> Not right now, but I'll think of something. Ethan, you better have a good explanation for this. <sighs> Critter's done. Ugh. Sweater vest gone. Come on in, Rory. Tiberius, my old friend. Should've known you show up last. Take the shot! He's evil! Get him! I can't. Fine, I'll do it. What? What happened here? Uh, food fight? Should have known 
Tiberius never ran away. When he died, my folks buried him in the field where I found him, behind Della's place. Speaking of which, have you talked to Della? Our courtship is on hold. At least until she gets out of counseling. What about Grandma? Did she think of a punishment? Ta-da! Guess who finally got their license? And my aunt gave me her old car. The, our part was saving up enough for insurance, but your dad gave me a great deal. Yeah, he's the best. Boom! Ah! Ah! Hurry! This vampire ninja stuff has to stop work. Okay, how do you do that? Don't care. Let's just get out of here before he comes back. Come on. 